All right, guys, um, one of our last previews for today. We're also going to do um, several other previews, probably stemming uh, later tomorrow evening. Um, late at night, I'll probably release like another four games that are going to be very compelling kind of opening weekend uh, contest uh, all around college football. But we're starting off on Thursday night. We get Sean Clifford, James Franklin, uh, Brent Pry no longer there. We're going to get this Penn State team going in the West Lafayette to play Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell, one of my favorite quarterbacks. I believe he was a walk-on. And the guy has just continued to rise up the depth chart. I believe he was behind Elijah Sindelar. You remember Purdue. They had Rondell Moore. Um, they also had David Blau uh, that was there. They beat Ohio State with Haskins. So they've had some really big-time wins in West Lafayette. Last year, they beat Michigan State when Michigan State was undefeated, ranked number seven in the country. All right, David Bell was a phenomenal, phenomenal player for them. They're missing him now. Uh, he's going to the NFL. He went to the NFL. Um, but even so, Purdue was still able to beat Tennessee in the bowl game. So Aiden O'Connell, it, you know, has the capability to put up monster numbers. This game is at Purdue, a, a good home field advantage on a Thursday night, and you're getting them with points. I really like Purdue in this spot. I really believe in the quarterback Aiden O'Connell. Like, I believe he can have like a Cole Brennan style season where he's putting up video game numbers. He's a very, very accurate quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands. And and Jeff Brom's really struck gold here with um with this offense here in Aiden O'Connell at quarterback. Uh so uh Aiden knows the system, he's in charge, he's gonna be the best player on the field. In terms of Penn State, you get Clifford, who's also a pretty decent quarterback. You're gonna be running um freshman singleton is gonna be very exciting uh to watch. The game is a really good Big Ten game. Uh Penn State is always pretty solid in the Big Ten East. They're not starting Drew Aller, so I still think that there are a couple of years away or a year away from really having it be electric because I believe Drew Aller's going to be electric next year. All right, he's going to come in and light it up. Uh, but this year you got Clifford, who's a solid senior quarterback. Um, overall, the talent in this game is very tight. I just lean the home team, the better quarterback here. Jeff Brom, really good coach. Um, Juracek is actually a nice coach for Penn State as well. Jahan Dotson. So again, both of these teams losing receivers that went in the top three rounds. Dotson uh, is now uh, playing football in the nation's capital in D.C. Uh, for the professional team out there. All right, in the NFL. So this game is going to be fun. You look at the defenses. They do return like several guys on both sides of the ball. I'm going to be watching it closely along with Penn Pittsburgh and West Virginia. We get a nice two game slate on 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 Thursday. I think you go two game slate on Thursday, then you're going to look at um, some some real fun on Saturday. Uh, there's a couple games, maybe Friday, like Virginia Tech uh, going out there. But let me know y'all's thoughts on this game because again, you know you get. Um, basically, you're getting Penn State experienced quarterbacks on both sides. This could be a shootout. I think that the over-under is probably set at 57. I didn't even look, but I think it could go way over the total. If Penn State's going to win, they're going to have to win the line of scrimmage, just run the ball right at Purdue. You run the ball at Purdue. Penn State's probably going to have more defensive talent overall than Purdue's going to have. So if Penn State gets a pass rush, if they really win the line of scrimmage and make O'Connell uncomfortable, they're going going to win if they run the football for an for an incredible amount of yardage they're going to control the game as well it's not a clear-cut pick I, I loved Oregon getting the 17 and a half this week um, I like other games significantly more than this game in terms of if you're going to pick this game but I do believe that Purdue with points is decent and I like Purdue to win outright I think you put money them on the money line I think that they can do it I like the quarterback I like going West Lafayette at here. If this was at Penn State, it would be a seven or eight point game. It'd be a lot harder, obviously. Um, I did talk to somebody. He's a Big Ten traditionalist, and he's like, I hate the fact that Penn State is playing on a Thursday night. Um, and that is, um, that's, that's, I mean, there have always been really fun games on Thursdays, uh, first week, 
But I get it if you love Saturday football in the Big Ten. Um, but overall, like, I even think it's better than Friday night. Thursday night's going to be interesting. It's the first day, really, of week one college football. Um, so there you go. What a game this is going to be. What do you What do you all think is going to happen? You think Purdue's offense is going to roll? I think O'Connell can be in New York this year. That's how good of a quarterback he is. In terms of who's a great college quarterback, I mean, Stroud and Young are, are up here. But and they're NFL guys, college guys. But in terms of who's going to be the most efficient, who's going to put up the most stats, who's going to know the offense, who's a great pairing, it's Aiden O'Connell coming back for the Purdue Boilermakers.